Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is part four of the Getting Started series. This video will review where and how you will be able to manage all of your client sites within your partner portal. Here you'll find information on your partner site, paid sites, trial sites, and expired sites. For each individual site, you can view URL details, see an admin user list, invoice history, system usage, and make any necessary upgrades. We'll be jumping into BC to review this information, and to show you what we'll be covering, we'll review where you can find your partner site information, review paid sites, trial sites, expired sites, and the site information page. Within your partner portal under the Clients tab, the first site that will be listed will be your partner website. You can only have one partner site within your partner portal. Here you can see the site name, a P next to it standing for partner site, the plan, billing method, expiration date, and details. We'll review what can be seen in the details view in a second. The next listing will show you all of your active paying clients. For each client, you'll be able to view the site name, the plan, billing method, expiration date to see if it's being used as a template or not, and view details of that specific site. The next listing will show you a list of all of your new sites. These sites are unpaid and or in development. Sites used for template purposes will be listed in this view. You'll notice two actions are listed in this view, details and upgrade. By clicking details you can view the specific details of that trial site. By clicking upgrade you will enter in payment information for that site and it will be added to the paid sites list. Trial sites are set to expire in a month after creation but you can always extend the expiration date in the details view. You can extend it every 14 days for up to two years. Expired sites include any site that has unpaid invoices, any expired trial sites, or backup sites. When you click on the details action of a site, you are taken to that site's details page. For paid sites like this one, you can choose to upgrade the site, which is how you would update what plan you're on, and you can choose to update credit card details. On trial or expired sites, you have the option to upgrade the site, which is how you would pay for the site and get it to the paid sites list, or you can extend expiration if it does expire. If a site does expire, you cannot FTP or log into the back end. Looking more at the details, you can view what plan this site's on, billing information, creation date, expiration date, view the data center, time zone, which you can change, and decide if you would like to mark it as a template or not. You'll also see any system and secure URLs, and then below that any of the other domains associated with this site. Below that you can see all the users who have access to the site. If you are not a user, you'll see an add user link to the right of users, and you have an option of adding another user. All you need to do is enter in the partner's email address. For any paid sites, you can see invoice history. You can choose to email the invoice to the client or view payment details. And below that, for all sites, whether they're paid, expired, or on trial, you can see system usage. Also, you can choose to upgrade, for example, adding more users to the site. Or you can get more information about that feature. 